First of all, congratulations for uh, two amazing achievements this week, surpassing Wayne Rooney on all-time scoring charts and also becoming first player to score 10 headers in uh, one Premier League season. Not bad, right? I know, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a good game. It was uh, yeah, obviously great to, to break those sort of records. And uh, I mean, some of them, you know, I never even heard of before. So it's good to, uh, yeah, be, be up there and scoring goals and scoring goals in different ways. Um, so uh, overall, it was just a, a really good game. Did Wayne Rooney got in touch with you? Are you two in contact? He was always sure that uh, his records in the Premier League won't last long because of you and also the records in the national team. Yeah, I mean, after I broke the England record, he, uh, he contacted me and uh, we spoke a little bit. But um, no, obviously, we keep in touch every now and then. He, he's a, a, an amazing guy, you know. He, he really helped me when I first went to the England team and um, yeah, I learned a lot from him. So uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll be watching the Premier League and uh, yeah, en enjoying seeing me play. But um, yeah, overall, I'm just happy to be doing what I'm doing and uh, hopefully he can, uh, can carry on. How big of a thing it is for you to surpass Ben Rooney and also get closer and closer to Alan Shearer, who is also a big admirer of your goal scoring abilities? Yeah, I think, you know, whenever you're mentioned in the names of Rooney and Shearer, um, it means you're obviously doing something really well because they're two of the greatest uh, Premier League players we've ever seen. So, um, no, I'm extremely, you know, proud and grateful of, of where I am and to be, you know, passing someone like Wayne. And then, uh, yeah, obviously, Adam is still uh, still a bit a, a bit ahead. He's um, another 50 odd goals ahead. So, uh you know, I don't like to look too far ahead. Of course, it's something that I'd love to do and love to achieve, but you know, that could take a, a few years yet. So um, I'm just focusing on this season and now and trying to score every game that I play and uh, bit by bit, I should, I should get closer. Okay, tell us about your, uh, this goal scoring feeling. Is it the same scoring goal number 209 uh, as scoring your first in the Premier League? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Uh, you know, scoring goals is just a feeling that's so hard to describe. It's uh, one of the best feelings, you know, I can ever feel uh, in my life. So um, it's just a mixture of so many emotions and adrenaline. And um, yeah, I, you know, whenever I score, it's an amazing feeling. I think they always feel a little bit better when they end up, you end up winning the game as well. Obviously, when you score and you lose, they don't feel so good. But I think Whenever you like the weekend when you score and you end up winning one nil or two one, um, they always feel a little bit sweeter. Is there any type of goal that is your favorite? I don't know, tap in outside of the box headers. What gets you excited the most? Uh, I think uh, I think just like a normal finish from inside the box, like a quick one touch or two touch finish. Uh, probably because that's something I practice a lot. You know, throughout my whole career, even when I was younger, just finding space in the box and being able to get a quick shot off uh, without the keeper being set. So um, I think in general, you know, I'm, I back myself uh, with kind of any finish, but uh, those quick ones in, inside the box that uh, the keepers find hard are probably my favourite. Uh, you're a very versatile player. Do you think that your all-around ability, passing, rage, hold up to a play and everything else, not just finishing, makes you so hard to stop? Yeah, well, I think, you know, as, as I've grown as a player and as I've got more experience as a player, um, I've tried to find different ways to, to affect the opponent. You know, uh, after my first couple of years, people started to maybe change the way they approached the game with me and, you know, maybe getting a bit tighter and a bit more aggressive. Um, so, yeah, I had to find different ways of finding space, finding the ball, uh, trying to get shots off and get chances uh, in different areas so you know my games have evolved I've always felt like I've been a good passer of the ball anyway but um, I think just the more experience I've had and you know understanding the space more on the pitch has helped and uh, it's allowed me to almost play uh, two different positions uh, in the game. Do you think that maybe because of that skills that you just mentioned maybe in the latter time of your career you could maybe play a bit deeper? Feel comfortable there? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, it's, it's an area of the pitch, you know, I feel comfortable playing if I had to drop back into midfield. Um, I think that even if I did play midfield, I'd, I'd always be someone who, you know, wanted to get in the box and get goals and uh, find ways of scoring that way anyway. But, um, yeah, we'll have to see. You know, I still 
still feel good. I, you know, I'm not someone who relies on pace too much, etc. So uh, over the years, I should be able to uh, adapt my game to, to my body, and I feel like you know I've been doing that pretty well. So uh, I guess it depends on what coach you have and how they see me as a player. But um, yeah, for sure, I feel comfortable in, in any uh, any area of the pitch, really. Tell us about your match day. How does your preparation for the big matches look like? Yeah, pretty pretty standard to be honest. Uh, you know, we we normally stand in the hotel the day before the game, uh, so we wake up, have some food. You know, I normally like to have like a quick 20-30 minute nap uh, before our pre-match meal, and then yeah, yeah, we eat again. We travel to the training ground uh, to the to the stadium, and then yeah, once I'm there, I kind of just go through my gym routine and uh, my pre act routine. Um, yeah, listen to some music, you know, but overall just pretty calm. I, I don't like to uh, get too emotional in that moment. I like to just kind of stay calm and uh, just get ready for the game. What about the free day? What does Harry Kane do when he doesn't uh, think about football? Uh, pretty much golf most days that I'm off. Um, I feel like golf's a great distraction from, from football. Just, uh, you know, a nice time with friends or family. You can spend four or five hours just... Um, yeah, just without any thoughts in your head. So um, that's normally what I do. Obviously, I have three kids as well. So spending time with them and um, doing stuff with them is, is great. So uh, yeah, just normally just doing some sort of activity rather by myself or, or with my family. Okay, nice. Just a, a few quick fire questions left. Uh, your childhood idol? idol. David Beckham. Uh, nice assist or a tap in? Tap in. Uh, best player you played with? Uh, best player I played with? Uh, Gareth Bale. Best you played against? Uh, best striker you played against? Uh, Ronaldo or Messi. Okay, what about the best defender you played against? Um, John Terry. Okay, best goal you scored? Best goal I scored? Um, the one against Arsenal when I uh, when I whipped it uh, from the corner, posting in. Okay. Yes. Uh, who likes a nutmeg in training? Who likes a nutmeg in training? Um, uh, Lucas. Lucas Mora. Yeah, Lucas. Yeah. Okay. Best holiday destination. Uh, Caribbean. Best NFL player. Oh, I can't say Tom Brady anymore because he's retired, but. Um, I'll go with Patrick Mahomes. Okay, best NBA player? Uh, LeBron James. LeBron James. What about Luka Doncic? He's from Slovenia. That's yeah, he, he, he's, uh, he's amazing, but yeah, I can't look past uh, LeBron. LeBron's been doing it for too many years now. Okay, favorite film? Uh, favorite film? Saving Private Ryan. Okay, favorite series? Dexter. Dexter, nice. Yeah. Mine too. Favorite food? Uh, steak and chips. Steak. Okay, and the last one, one celebrity outside of football that you would like to have dinner with? One celebrity. Um, uh, Tiger Woods. <laughs>